Today we're putting Team Finland into the NHL, and we're going to see if they can win a Stanley Cup. I'll be giving them four years total, two years in each conference, to see if they can get the job done. Year number one we finished with a 52-23-7 record, racking up 111 points to be first in our division, as well as finishing first in the entire league. Hervine and the letter team in points with 71, with Miko Rantanen being right behind him with 70, while Patrick Laine and Miko Rantanen both tied for top of the team in goals with 35. Saros would win 40 games getting 7 shutouts, a 9-0-4 save percentage, and a 2.75 goals against average. Johnny Gaudreau would lead the league in points with 100, while Alex Ovechkin would lead the league in goals with 58, with Patrick Laine on Columbus being one goal behind at 57. Then we had 41 wins, I'll lead the entire league, 6 shutouts, a 9-1-5 save percentage, and a 2.50 goals against average. Our first round opponents are the Anaheim Ducks, who we managed to beat in 6 games. Moving on to round 2, we faced the Colorado Avalanche, who would sadly end up losing to in six games. Avalanche would go on to win the Stanley Cup, beating Tampa Bay in five games. Argov led her team in playoff points with 11. Teravon and Rantanen both tied in goals with four. Saros had one shutout, a 9.15 save percentage, and a 2.79 goals against average. Not bad at all, but obviously could have been better. Steven Stamkos would lead the entire playoffs in points with 30, with Kucherov leading the entire playoffs in goals with 17. Gorgiev ended up being the starting goalie for Colorado. He had a 9.09 save percentage, and a 2.62 goals against average. Looking at awards, Johnny Gaudreau would win the Art Ross and the Hart Memorial Trophy. John Carlson would win the James Norris. Gaudreau also capturing the Lady Bing. Michael getting the Calder. Conn Smythe going to Miko Rantanen on Colorado. The Vesna going to Hellebuck. William M. Jennings going to Bobrovsky. Bill Masterson to Tyler Myers. Frank J. Selke to Bergeron. No surprise there. Gaudreau capturing the Ted Lindsay as well. And the Maurice Richard going to Alexander Ovechkin. A year number two, we moved to the East. We finished with a 44, 32, and 6 record. 94 points, finishing 4th in our division, as well as 10th in the entire league. Rantanen led our team in points this time around with 78, while also leading in goals with 38. Charles had 38 wins, 5 shutouts, a 9 0 8 save percentage, and a 2.73 goals against average. Austin Matthews led the league in points with 105, being the only player to hit 100 points this season. Ovi's on top in goals once again, dropping 55. Vasilevsky led the league in wins with 44, getting 6 shutouts, a 9 1 8 save percentage, and a 2.50 goals against average. We get to face the Columbus Blue Jackets in round number one, where we get swept, apparently, and I don't know how to feel about that at all. I feel like that's kind of baloney. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! We lost every game by one goal, except for game two, which was a 4-1 blowout for them. I think that's a bad sign. I don't, I don't think this team's winning a cup. The Washington Capitals would move on to win the Stanley Cup, beating Colorado in five games. Well, in the four games we did play, Granlin led our team in points with four, while Capo Caco on the fourth line led her team in goals with two. And a terrible performance by Saros, an 8-8-8 save percentage and a 3.41 goals against average. Darcy Kemper led the way for Washington in the playoffs. He had three shutouts, a 9-0-8 save percentage and a 2.93 goals against average. So not the best stats ever for a goalie, but in the end, he did help his team win the cup. Looking at awards this year, the Art Ross and Hart Memorial Trophy go to Austin Matthews. The James Norris going to Kale McCarr. The Lady Bing going to Patrick Kane. Reichel gets the Calder again. Conn Smythe goes to Backstrom. Randy Anderson won the Vesna Trophy. Franz Hughes won the William M. Jennings Trophy. Uh, Nizov, I believe is how it's pronounced. I have no idea, won the Bill Masterson. He does win this award a lot, so I should learn how to say his name. Frank J. Selke goes to Barkov, but Barkov on Florida, not on Finland. And Matthews gets the 10 Lindsay, while Ovi gets the Maurice Richard. Year number two, staying in the Eastern Conference, we finished with a 52, 23, and seven record, getting 111 points for first in our division. But not first in the entire league, that would go to the Carolina Hurricanes, who beat us out by one win. Sebastian Ajo leading the way in points this time around with 76, while Patrick Laine led the team in goals with 40. Saros dropping 43 wins, five shots, a 9-1-2 save percentage, and a 2.62 goals against average. Uso having a better save percentage and a better goals against average, but he played way less games, so it kind of makes sense. At least he played good in the games he did play. Demko stealing the top spot from Saros when it comes to wins by one whole win at 44. He had a 9-1-5 save percentage, a 2.53 goals against average, and five shutouts as well. And for back-to-back -back years, Austin Matthews led the league in points with 99 this time around, and he led the league in goals with 51. We face the Montreal Canadiens in round number one, and luckily this time around we do win. We beat them in five games. Second round opponents are the Boston Bruins, which I'm very scared of. Let's see how that goes. And we do get the job done moving on to the conference finals to face the Florida Panthers. But sadly, in the conference finals, we lose to Florida in seven games. And we only have one chance left. And the Colorado Avalanche are your Stanley Cup champions beating Florida in six games. Brandon led the way in terms of playoff points for the team, getting 20. 
while Patrick Line led in playoff goals with nine. Arrow's playing really good in the playoffs at 9-2-0 save percentage, 2.42 goals against average, even getting two shutouts. While Huso played for 10 minutes and saved all seven shots he faced, so not a bad playoff performance or our goaltending, but in the end, we still couldn't get the job done. Gorgiev once again, the standing up winning goalie at a 9-1-7 save percentage and a 2.43 goals against average. I was ranting in on Colorado, leading the playoffs in points with 29, as well as leading the playoffs in goals with 12, tied with Connor McDavid. And once again, the Matthews will win the Art Ross and the Hart Memorial Trophy. Quinn Hughes winning the James Norris. Lady Ming going to Mitch Marner. Owen Power winning the Calder this time around. Miko Rantanen getting the Conn Smythe. Saros on Nashville got the Vesna, not ours. And the William M. Jennings. Kind of toxic. Bill Masterson to Nizov again. Like I said, he does win the trophy a lot. Frank J. Selkie, Patrice Bergeron, Ted Lindsay, Austin Matthews, and Maurice Richard, Austin Matthews. In our fourth and final year, we are back in the West and we finish with a 51, 20, and 11 record, 113 points earned, and first in our division, as well as first in the entire NHL. Rantanen led the team in points with 74, while Patrick Laine led the team in goals with 39. Arrows with 42 wins, a 919 save percentage, and a 2.34 goals against average, while also getting seven shutouts and good performance by him. So good, in fact, that he was the best performing goalie in the entire league. Being of good performances, Alex Ovechkin has been tearing up this video. He finishes top of the league in points and goals, having 106 points with 63 goals. And our final attempt at a Stanley Cup starts now. Can Finland get it done? We face Dallas in the first round. Ah, uh, this looks neat. I wonder if that... And just as it starts, it ends as we lose to the Dallas Stars in seven games, losing game seven in overtime. I actually can't believe we didn't even make it to the Stanley Cup Finals, never mind winning one. The New York Islanders move on to win the Stanley Cup, beating Dallas in five games. Three-way tie for top playoff performer, Teravine and Pugliarvi and Barkov all having eight points. Patrick Laine leading the team in goals with four. Saros kind of let us down in the end. He had an electric regular season, but in the playoffs, he only had an 8-9-2 save percentage and a 3.42 goals against average. So Rokin is your Stanley Cup winning goalie. He had three shutouts, a 9-3-2 save percentage, and a 2.08 goals against average. Joe Pavelski leading the league in playoff points with 25. And Jason Robertson and Alex Ovechkin being tied for goals. But get this, Ovechkin had 12 goals in 11 games played and was still a minus five. That is absolutely wild. Alex Ovechkin would win the Art Ross and the Hart Memorial Trophy. James Norris going to Drew Doughty. Lady Bing going to Johnny Gaudreau. Krasnov getting the Calder. Matthew Barzell getting the Conn Smythe. Saros on our team finally getting an award, winning the Vesna and the William M. Jennings. Dumoulin getting the Bill Masterson. Frank J. Selke going to Barkov on Florida. And Ted Lindsay to Ovi. And Maurice Richard also to Ovi. So can Team Finland win a Stanley Cup? Apparently not. I'm very surprised by that. I'm sure you're very surprised by that. That's why we do videos like this, because you're probably thinking in your brain, of course, a Team Finland can win a Stanley Cup. But in four seasons, they could not get the job done. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like to help spread it to more people. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.